Next question is from Ali P. Fit. Do thermogenic fat burners actually do anything? Oh, Boy, we, who picked these questions I today? Did, bro. These are like We're uh, fun. You were going down <laughs> like the, super old school yeah, like these bodybuilder. Are, well, these are all questions that I, we've answered probably a hundred times. But back in the days, I, we haven't talked about some of this stuff in a long time. But I'm glad you are because I just got a a text message yesterday from a, a buddy of mine who sent me over like some supplement company that I'd never heard of, and he's like, "Oh, my friend of a friend started this. Could you look at him and just tell me what you think?" and you know, at first glance, I'm like, oh, it's, you know, pretty standard. There's no proprietary blends. It looks like it's non, non-GMO. I said, <laughs> but don't, like I said, <laughs> don't waste your money on all the, the, the fat burner ones and the claims, all those. I was like, it's, it's, and those are the most popular, right? Those are sold the well, most. Well, because it's targeting the pain point that everybody has. I know, I know. But yeah, it is it, worthless. Absolutely worthless. Yeah. I mean, you're talking, you're, we talk about the analogy of supplements being like the spoiler on the Honda, like fat burners. Well, I don't even know where, where that would be. the sticker. That's the, that's yeah. the air freshener. There you go. Yeah. That's the sticker. There you go. The that's, that's what good. I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. That's the K&N sticker. On the car. Uh, <laughs> yes, the sticker. So here's what you'll get with thermo thermogenic <laughs> fat burners. Thermogenic, meaning that they increase the amount of calorie burn in the body. Do they do that to some extent? Maybe a little bit. But really, what's the value in a fat burner? Why do they work for some people? Because they do for some people. Some people take fat burners. Back in the day, the most popular fat burner, the one that was supported by studies, was the ephedra mm -hmm. caffeine aspirin stack, the good old ECA stack. Oh, you felt that. Now, you took it, and you would lose weight. And people were like, this is burning body fat. No, not necessarily. It's a very strong stimulant and appetite suppressant. So if you take it throughout the day, because they used to recommend taking three servings, right? I don't mm -hmm. care if it was hydroxy cut or, like or Xenadrin or what I did was I just bought e each of them independently and took my own. You take them three times a day. They suppress your appetite. So if you've ever been on a strong stimulant, if you've ever taken like prescription Adderall or Ritalin, you know that you don't want to eat much. And that's where the weight loss comes from. Now that, some, that and then the the movement and the yeah. jitters. You, you, ever, you, the, you, you, you bring you bring up lots of lots of energy. Yeah, you, you bring up something like our, restless I mean, leg and all that. Kind I of mean, stuff. if you're somebody who's never done something like that, or if you've never had you know 600 milligrams of caffeine in a day or something like that, watch what you do. You're so amped and jittery and moving all day. So the, the those little ticks all day long. Add up. Mm -hmm. So you figure all that moving and the suppressing of the appetite, this is where the magic comes in. It's not because something in that supplement is actually burning fat. Right. Now, someone may be watching or listening and think, oh, that's a good idea. That's what I want. I want to suppress my appetite, and I want to be hyped and be energized. So here's the problem. The body adapts very fast to those effects. Receptors start to get down-regulated. Your body stops producing or starts producing less of its own energy-producing chemicals. And in a very short period of time, okay, let's use caffeine as an example. That's a very common stimulant. Everybody has, has, uses caffeine. Think back to when you first used it, how amazing you felt. Now think about how it feels now to take it months or years later when you have it every morning. Now it just makes you feel normal. And if you don't have it, you feel like dog shit. This is what happens with fat burners. They work in the short term, but then your body adapts. Now I need them just to feel normal. And then when I go off of them, which you will eventually, because uh, otherwise it just feels terrible. When you go off of them, you're going to have like a two week period where it's the reverse. You have a lower energy. You feel like dirt and your appetite goes through the roof through this period of this process. So what you end up seeing with this, if there is weight loss, is you see weight loss, plateau, weight gain when you go off. So no, fat burners are, unless you want the energy and you want the appetite suppressing effects and you and you don't mind that it's short term and you have a plan for post rebound or whatever, which most people don't. But if you do, then maybe there's some some specific value. But I, I never in my life recommended thermogenic fat burners to clients. I've never in my life said to a client, I know we're trying to burn body fat. I don't want to say never. I actually did back in the day when I was when we were taught that this was effective. Once I learned that this is totally ineffective and probably doing people uh, harm, I never would tell people to take a fat burner to help them burn body fat.